Welcome back to another Mobile Centrics Tips and Tricks. My name is Derek, and today I'm going to be working on this MacBook Pro. This is MacBook model A2338. As you can see, you can see all of the lines going through it. There's a decent impact right here. Caused us to have no image. We still have backlight, everything still works. We just don't have a good display. What we're gonna be replacing today is the panel only, keeping all of this original, just replacing the LCD panel itself. Let me show you how I do that. All right, I'll start by taking out all of the bottom screws. Take out those six screws. I'll go ahead and pop up the back panel. To get the back off, once those are out, I popped it up. Just gonna grab right here. It's kind of tough, but we're gonna firmly pull back that we don't want it to go flinging so I've got a controlled pull here just like that I'll pull it off this looks really clean on the inside you can tell that the they took care of it for the most part obviously something happened to it but oh now we just need to remove all the screws holding in the Wi-Fi antenna and, and the display flexes keeping all the screws in order so that we can put them back in the same spot but before we do that, we need to do a couple things. I'm gonna grab this sticker here, lift it up a little bit so that we can disconnect that ZIF connector and pull out this flex. We can lift up this sticker-like thing. Now we'll grab our screwdriver and we'll take out this screw. And then we can lift up this tab. Now we'll open it back up and hold down the power button for about five to 10 seconds. This will give the motherboard a proper drain of all the residual power that it might have had. That's good. Now we can proceed with removing all of these screws. We'll remove the uh, screws that cover up the covers with the hinges. Take those covers out on both sides. Switch over to our P2, and we'll take out all of these teeny screws that go across the back. There's a bunch of them. Now, for those of you wondering, I would normally be doing this with the device on the table. I'm just trying to get just a good angle for the camera. All right, we can disconnect this flex now. This guy's semi-loose. Under here, we've got a sticker. We gotta pull up some really sticky adhesive. Take out that screw. And we've got the little coax connectors for the Wi-Fi antenna here. And we should just be able to gently slide it out. We'll take out these four screws and then those will be free, like so. And then we'll switch over to a T8, and I like to remove two of the three screws on each side. You'll see why in a second. There's two. Okay, now we'll open it partially up, and then we can remove the other two. And then the screen will gently, much easier now. Just come off like that. All right, so for this next part, we're gonna do a couple things. Just gonna get my fingernail under here. We'll just gently lift up the rubber. And I'm just gonna grab it gently and get it to release from its adhesive. Now you can do a couple things here. You'll see that we've got a black adhesive down here. You can gently peel it up at the same time as removing this, or you can just go nice and slowly and let it come out. If you go nice and slowly, you won't stretch or tear this rubber. 
but because we're about to remove it it does it will get in the way we can reuse it if we're gentle so we just gently go on every once in a while you'll run into a little area where it gets a little tough just give it enough little patience and it'll pop out and there's this little nub thing that you can kind of see sticking out there that's what uh that's what gets caught so we'll just gently inch at a time pull it out barely putting any tension on it like barely anything here in the corner you'll find it gets tough a little another one of those and we'll just keep going around the border not tugging too hard here's another one we'll let it slide past boom keep going it's really actually quite difficult to tear these but they can tear so just take your time we can reuse the bezel and we can reuse the adhesive that's down below as well come up on another one where it's gonna pop right there and we'll keep going right here another one come down to the bottom and then it becomes a little bit more difficult to pull so I'm just gonna pry it up with my tweezers and we'll pull that out like that and set this aside for later I'm gonna get out a heat mat we're gonna turn it on I'm gonna let this slowly heat up this display panel fits this one perfectly. We don't want to we don't want to warp the backlight, so we do have to be careful about the amount of time we're going to be spending on here. So we want to work quick and not uh, not mess with it too much. One thing we have to contend with is going to be this bottom bezel. They're fairly sensitive, and you can crack them if you're not careful. I'm going to take a piece of plastic though, wedge under there, and I'm going to slowly slide along the display don't want there to be really any tension on it just want it to have that cutting power and with enough patience you'll see it'll start to slowly let go make its way over gently feel pull pull back these flex cables all right and that'll come off now before we go any further we're going to remove all of the screws down here at the bottom Fill up the little sticker here and then I'm just gonna get a hold of this bracket and we'll gently lift it on it slowly slowly take off the rest we'll take this off and we'll set it aside now we got to go around the border and cut through the adhesive all the way up to the top so we'll put it back on the heat mat to help with that so we'll get under the edge here, get right under the display, and I'm gonna gently slice through the, pull, the adhesive here and slowly move my way all the way towards the top with a firm grip. And we're gonna do the same thing on both sides with the plastic. Get under the edge of the display, get into the adhesive layer, and slide our way to the top. We'll come back to that side in a second. We're gonna really move on this way. You can see while it's warm, pick it up, slice right through it, all the way up to the top. All right, we'll make sure we disconnect these flexes and then we'll peel this up nice and slowly. All right, and we'll start to pry on the screen right above that section. It likes to just barely rub here, so you just gotta be gentle. Get it past that point. Make sure it's not holding on to any of the cables. And then we'll slowly lift, making sure the diffuser isn't sticking to the panel, which it is on this side. So I'm just gonna gently tilt it not to. A little bit of adhesive that it touched it. Now it's not grabbing on. And we'll slowly lift. And if we can see any section where it's still holding on, we can take our plastic and slice through it. <clears throat> All right, and then you'll be able to get the screen off. <laughs> like that. We'll then go around the border and we're gonna pick up all of the old adhesive.
Now I made a, middle, a little mistake here. We've got a little bit of adhesive inside of the diffuser here. So I'm gonna find the layer gently where it's at. And we're gonna take this tool and carefully Oh, it's into the next one. There, it's on the underside there. And although it's not perfect, it's much better. We'll just go around to get our the last bit of adhesive. So this adhesive is actually still really good and sticky. So we're gonna reuse it. There's nothing wrong with it. So we're just going to apply adhesive here around the border. And we're getting close to the halfway point. We've got a variety of thicknesses of adhesives to choose from to customize the adhesive job around the border. And this is a perfect time to take our uh, rubber gasket again and put it around the border. You can apply the adhesive if it's going to go down. It can go on top of this and hold it down in place even more than the adhesive that's still there. So we'll line that up in its general area and line up these little guides here and then wedge it down into that groove along the way. All right, we've got our new panel here. We'll gently peel off all of the tape. Now one thing to note, mine does come with the uh, metal bracket. If you, if you need to transfer it, one thing I recommend you do is you mark on it where this little logic board, where this PCB board lines up with it so that you can get the alignment perfect. Um, you can score it with like a razor blade along the edge or do something like that to mark it off so you can get it aligned properly. There's a protector here on the back, so I'm not worried about touching it right now with my fingers. And I'm sure I'm getting dust on the backlight below. We gotta make sure we blow that off. I put a little bit of tape on the edge here just so we can get a hold of that protector. We're gonna dust off anything that made it onto the backlight. Peel off the protector. And now we won't touch the panel at all. I'm gonna gently line up the bracket, making sure I'm not folding any of the flex cables, that everything's going in nicely. And then we're gonna line up the top corners, making sure they go and line up nice and snug against the rubber. I like how that looks. All the way down the sides. Looks really good. Make sure nothing gets trapped under the, the display. All right, now we've got the screws back in there. Got to peel off the adhesive that's on here and apply some new adhesive. We can peel this off, but it's just the uh, anti-static adhesive. So we'll leave this on the heat mat so it can warm up while we do that. And we can install this after. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and connect this back up to the frame. We'll make sure all of the cables stay on top here. And while this kind of dangles here, I can put back one of the screws on each side. That way we can fold it up. Check the alignment, make sure everything's lining up the way we want it and then put all the screws back. When I go ahead and do that, we'll put everything back the way we took it out and I'll show you the last step. All right, so we got all the screws back in. We just have to put this back along with the screws in the back panel. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. And let's turn it on. It's kind of hard to see, but there is an Apple logo right there. And there we go. As you can see, we are working once again. I'm just gonna close that for now and let's 
See if we can't get off the adhesive here. And we got it started, so I'm gonna keep it on the heat mat. This stuff likes to only come up with heat, so we'll go ahead and hold it down and pull it off little by little. We'll grab some new adhesive and we can install this now. Just lining it up perfectly. All right, we'll close that on up and we'll set this aside. We'll take our back, line it up and push it on. Click it in. Switch back to our P5 and we'll put back the screws and we're done. And there we go. All fixed. That is how to do an LCD panel only. It is a time consuming repair, quite tedious, but hopefully this helps and hopefully you learn something. If you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe for more future videos like this. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.